dogs have special needs in winter. And that starts with many dogs needing a jacket. Of course, it's kind of obvious with senior dogs, with very short-coated dogs, and with no undercoat, like staffies, pit bulls. But even dogs who never needed a jacket, like if you have a fully coated border collie with a double layer coat and very cozy and never needed a jacket or a sweater or whatever, when that dog gets old, sometimes they do need a jacket, like our Chewy did. He got the jacket with 13. He was a Border Collie mix, he had a double layer coat and still needed a jacket. If you want to try it out, just use jacket and see if your dog pants more than usual. If not, the jacket was the right choice. If yes, the jacket might be too warm. Again, there are a gazillion materials and there are warmer ones and not that warm ones and a lot of dogs don't show that they are cold that is often true for strong short-coated dogs like staffies and pit bulls they don't have an undercoat so they typically get cold but they don't always show it because they are so happy-go-lucky and always excited that they don't show it and still get cold. Again, just try it out. And if you have a dog with a little bit of back pain or things like that, a jacket might help as well. The same goes for booties. If you have a lot of salt in your area, tell me in the comments if this is a thing where you live. Here in a big city where I lived with Sammy in the beginning, we had a lot of salt on the streets and it hurt Sammy really badly he was very sensitive or he is very sensitive on his paws and he could not walk on the street so we had to carry him to a spot of grass and then carry him back because he wouldn't also not tolerate any kind of shoes <laughs> so there are dogs who don't tolerate shoes they have to be trained and some dogs still won't tolerate them if that happens very fatty creams can be a solution. For Sammy, we used a very fatty cream on the paws so that he would not feel the salt. And it worked kind of good. So this is a substitute for booties sometimes. Booties also work well for very icy paths. So if your dog walks a lot of ice and it hurts the paws, booties can be a great solution. And of course, if you have salt in your area, we need to wash the paws after walking. And that's when medical training helps a lot. Washing the paws and also for long coated dogs, they often get these really long hair between the pads on the paws. And that has to be trimmed because it catches little stones it and the salt and when the dogs start licking that salt they can get sick from it so if your dog has long hair between the pads you might need to cut those of course ice is slippery <laughs> so if you walk a lot of ice be aware if your dog is slipping a lot this often happens more to senior dogs, puppies, and clumsy dogs. Yes, there are clumsy dogs. So if you see your dog slipping a lot, you might support your dog on the harness or just pick your route so that you don't walk on ice that much. <laughs> and if you walk a lot on snow, be aware that snow can be very exciting for dogs. A lot of dogs love snow and they go crazy when they're in snow. So those dogs need a little help to calm down. And you can use search games, for example, to calm your dog down a little bit. And your dog has to concentrate and try really hard because sniffing something out under the snow is a lot trickier than just in grass. All right. And... For ourselves, I think it's really important that we consider safety as well. So if you're walking with a leash and you're wearing gloves, 
keep in mind that the leash could be more slippery than usual. So either you could use a leash that is like a rubber material, so it doesn't slip as easily, or you have gloves that are slipping resistant. And as a last little tip, if you get, let your dog wait somewhere, either keep him moving or if you let your dog wait in a car, try a heating blanket or something like that so that your dog doesn't get too cold. And if you want to know how you could do very easy search games, nose work games, check out this video.